Hello everybody, my name is Trailmaker, and this is a new section of the channel called Mod Game, where we'll be playing mods, and so today I'll be playing with respect to Germany. So I have to make a new deck for this, and I'll be playing as Pact, as part of an agreement, and uh, let's go ahead and grab the uh, German Democratic Republic, so that's kind of what we've agreed to play, and with respect to Germany. Now with this mod... Um, these all still make sense as bonuses, but, uh, category C does not, uh, neither does category B. This is actually a, um, a mod that allows you to play with a great amount of ridiculously potent tanks now, because I didn't choose the Soviets, not so much, but I mean, um, obviously we grabbed some T-72s, and these are the East Germans, so there's only me so much I can do with them uh, in terms of availability I, I do want to get one bomber out just one potentially two let's go with the MiG-23 you are the winner and let's we'll need some oh my god those rockets are so good yeah there we go we just need some air superiority fighters and that gets us to three so leave that for now i only get one helicopter to choose from so that's what i get uh let's see we got any vehicles um uh, there's moderate anti-air and i will need my uh my flamethrower and let's see malagutka p is pretty solid so grab that uh recon we want to be abusing our infantry so we'll have the guns there squad and actually let me redo that i want to have him be my spec ops for destroying stuff and the grenzers will be there for spotting and i have one more point before i go into craziness so i might as well grab something decent let's go with this guy he's got an at gun on okay let's uh get a cub uh, I do enjoy the Flare Extrella, so we'll go with that. And an artillery. Uh, well, that's probably the best I'm going to get. And now infantry. I'll leave that to last because I like the spam infantry, obviously. Uh, let's go with a, a Spoo. What's our availability on this bad boy anyway? Yeah, I'll take another one. Take the... Um, I don't want to grab the tank. And we'll have to grab the FOB because we only have two supply availability. So. Okay, let's. Uh, I like the FJBs, so we'll get one of those. And let's get one of decent vehicles. All the infantry should be decent vehicles. Uh, let's see. Oh, that's. Oh, I don't want the Flare Extrella. No, sorry. I need to have some pretty potent infantry for this. Uh, let's see. That's a good vehicle. Another AT. Uh, sure. Now here's the big bad boy that I want, the Pioneer, and we'll put him in something with it rockets. There we go. He has to have a decent gun though, because he's got to deal with infantry. And these guys can probably walk. And these guys probably walk. And that will cover up most of the decks. So that's my, you know, with respect to Germany deck, they modified availability, they modified uh, numbers, and uh, momentarily I will be joined by Nova Wing, who will be playing as a West German deck. So let's get this going. All right. Cool. Ready oh, good day. And uh, let's rock and all roll. All right. And I'm uh, Troublemaker. Hello, hello. And I'm Novawing24. I'm about to crush him with my East German deck on. With respect to Germany. Yeah, up against the power of the uh, the Bundesrepublik here. So we'll uh, we'll see who is victorious with this exploration of the mods here today. Yes, and I uh, I I've come up with a name for the series. Ah, oh, excellent. Because I've got no idea. Mod game. <laughs> <laughs> Mod game, I like it. I like it. We could uh, we can sell the film rights to it later. <laughs> no. Okay. How am I gonna stop your face in? Oh, 
Well, this is quite quite a close quarters, isn't it? Yeah, it's got lots of open areas, so tank play is going to be pretty decent on this map. Uh, but at the same time, it's pretty fair because there's enough forests and uh, towns in the intersection areas so that I can just, you know, put in some infantry and AT. Of course, uh, Pact is all about the AT, and you have the massive tank advantage. Luckily, a lot of my units are super, super cheap. Most of them are. Oh, it's destruction, by the way, if you didn't notice. I take a guess at that one. Yeah, I, was, all uh, right. I think all these mods were originally created with the intent of fighting them all as destruction. Because the guy who made all the mod suites, uh, Anoka, he just mm. had this insane disdain for conquest. It was just, <laughs> he, he saw it as like command stopping. Just command stopping. There's no strategy. Hmm. Uh, yeah, it's it's uh, interesting. I played a couple of conquest games, and uh, they uh, really become about tactic play. And if you're brave enough to just throw stuff at their command vehicle, uh, yeah, you can really close that off. All right, a couple of seconds to go. I think we're ready to go. Yeah, I got uh, <laughs> mine started, so I guess it's just precept this way to not let us go ahead. Because uh, I didn't click lunch. There we are. That will do it. Oh, and off we go. Mr. Suspense Builder over there. Yes, yes, yes. All, all about the suspense here. Yeah, like I'm going to be playing pretty heavy on that infantry. So hopefully you don't curb stomp me because of that. So you have a few positions to ambush you with. So, uh, we're uh, aggressively going for both, so it looks like we're going for the same side at the moment. Hmm. Uh-oh, this is awkward. <laughs> it's awkward that you can spot me and, uh, not vice versa. Yeah, see, so you went for the two-point base instead of your three-point base. Why aren't you a sneaky little devil? Oh, and first blood goes to the troublemaker. Is uh, am I a position to get the rest of your units? Maybe. Let's see. Let's get these reserve shoots and firing on your leopard. Two a four is over to your god. As an ATGM goes wildly off into the distance. I have a bomber. 
Or I should fire. I should have probably used the fire position command. Oopsie. Well, opportunity lost. Oh god, Starfighter. Uh, I think it's just a lot of splinter wood, I think, at the moment. Yes, but it's okay. You have another one coming in, and I'm currently low on income because we're in destruction. I totally always forget that. <laughs> I'm playing too much conquest. So we're uh, a bit of a stalemate. So at the moment we've got uh, Troublemaker on uh, a bit of a higher income. Got a bit of an income advantage on me at the moment. But, uh, we've got a, we've got a bit of the old uh, classic stalemate going on with the the old destruction at the moment. Oh, that's what you think. <laughs> I prepare an army of mass design. A, a grand design of mastery, or? Korean unit, greatest unit. Ah, uh, auto cannons of death, I love it. Ah. Uh, units are scum. <laughs> ah, but they fight for freedom in the American way and cheeseburgers. Prepare to love the bomb. MiG 21 away! Did we do any damage? It appears not. <laughs> Uh, see, there's just going to be so much match, so many matchsticks after this. Bombers and air superior fighters are not that prolific in this patch for this uh, particular mm. version of the game. Mm. So they act like um, they they act a lot like oh, what am I thinking? Uh, they act a lot like artillery. Like they kind of just pepper spray a lot of units. Oh, we found him. Oh, good. Thank you for fighting for a nice target for my uh, my iron bombs there. Well, I can help you no more. You're on your own after this. And say goodbye to your MIG. Oh dear God! I didn't realize it was out. Oops. It's okay, I'll destroy you with ridiculous numbers of units. That will be my plan. I suppose that's probably the, the one thing I noticed with this mod is that it's, uh, it definitely does sort of play on that whole fact of, uh, yeah, Russians sort of rely on that unmasked uh, approach sort of thing. 
Yeah, well, it's it, it's decently uh, prepared for uh, basically what ends up being very realistic. You have to have um, NATO have those really potent units and Pact have those really uh, average-ish type units. But just so many of them. Y yeah. I mean, all these uh, MiG 23s, they only cost me like 50 points of a boy. Like, these are very inexpensive bombers. If I can kill off just one command, it'll be worthwhile. Oh, you sneaky little proverbial. <laughs> right, gonna have to do something about this. You could send some tanks through the wooded areas. There's definitely no infantry in all of your wooded areas. Oh, oh, absolutely, absolutely. There'd never be any uh, any tanks there, would there? Nope, because that would be rather useful. Please don't hit it. Please don't hit it. Please hit something else. Run away, little man. Run away. <laughs> Come on, baby. Got one, I think. No. It's pretty damn they close. They survived. Yeah, I need another MIG to destroy your MIGs. Yeah, it's going to give me a pretty massive income lead. Uh, hopefully I can kill off one of your fighters, because that would just make me so happy. Oh, you got him. Ah, but I wiped out all three of them. <laughs> yeah, you kind of wiped out all my units. So it's a, it's a trade. It's a... Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll take that trade. But oh, hello, infantry. And uh, first command vehicle blood goes to you. Ah. Well, if I can get those infantry into a town, uh, I think I might be in trouble, but it looks like you pretty well got that covered. And you're wiping out all my jets.
Uh, of course, since this isn't uh, conquest, there's not really much a point in me grabbing center from you. In a conquest game, that'd be very, very hyper useful, but not today. Alright, are my starfighters going to get in before they get to the town? Probably not. Uh, looks like I got one in, but uh, he's not doing so hot. I see you have a couple of infantry in the south of the town. Oh, and he's got his, uh, he got a Strella up there now, huh? Ah, he's trying to lay a trap for me, eh? There's no Strella there. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm it's, it's, it's all in the mind, you know. <laughs> I don't, I don't set traps. Oh, if my infantry could just kill your infantry carriers, that'd just make me so happy. Oh, I left the town accidentally. Didn't happen. Are you on, like, aircraft cocaine right now? Jesus! Uh, yeah, again, as you were saying before, with, with that whole uh, thing of where they tweaked it, so uh, the higher technology advantage of NATO is a bit more prevalent. Yeah, this is this is one of the areas it's showing through. Uh, you did, however, cluster bomb the proverbial out of my little Jaguar, so my poor little Jaguar is uh, is no more. Well. See if I can gain a bit of ground. I still have 200 points to build up. Dear God. Hmm, some helicopter movement. What could be happening here? Perhaps a helicopter all in, moving along the southeast flank to try and flank me. Is this uh, what you're going for here? There's a helicopter out there? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm pretty sure it is, because I'm doing roughly the same thing, except my helicopters <laughs> actually have anti-helicopter weapons. Oh, this, this, this could end badly. Well, for one of us. I think I'm fine. Mm. I think these, uh, yeah, they're they're pretty expensive helicopters. I would turn around. Hat jemand 
A Martyr VTS I really dude? Oh my god, I haven't seen that in a while. That's definitely old school. God, how are your AT infantry holding off my entire assault? That doesn't even make sense. <laughs> it doesn't make sense! The Panther Grenadieren! <laughs> Dear God, the leopard apocalypse has come for me. <laughs> I have a horrible feeling it's probably going to grind to a halt very shortly. Uh, maybe. I'm trying to get my commander to there. Ah, I see your command on the move. Yep. Please don't kill it, leopard 2. I see you firing. You missed, luckily, multiple times. Because you're inferior NATO weapon rate. Don't die! <laughs> Just making this mad scramble for the uh, for the bridge there, I see. Yes, this is my evac point. I have lots of AT on the bridge. Don't go there. There's totally all sorts of stuff set there. Uh, if you cross there... You got, you got nothing. <laughs> I have all sorts of stuff. What are you talking about? You're going to be pleasantly surprised when you get to the bridge. Pleasantly surprised. Where'd my command go? I miss you! Okay, ah! Oh good, I got a kill. Please don't steal my FOB, I need that. I plopped it down and never used it. That's how much I needed it. <laughs> You're showing your rear armor, I believe, on your lever too. Dear God, you just built up like 600 points from that attack. And you won. And thank you! Oh my God, oh. Well, I guess I'll get you in the next one. <laughs> Well, uh, so post uh, post battle analysis, um, not so good. So <laughs> the the might of the uh, German armor is, uh, I've just, look, uh, yeah, look, I've I I like armored decks, and uh, as uh, viewers of my channel will know, the, one of my uh, one of my regular uh, co commanders uh, loves his German decks as well, and. I like what this mod does to it, uh, I'll be honest. This is probably also influenced by the fact that I've won, so uh, yeah, yeah, that's probably helpful as well. <laughs> uh, what were your thoughts on uh, on your uh, East German deck there? Uh, yeah, East German deck, not so hot in this mod. Uh, they don't have access to the T-80s, which is a big uh, detriment. Uh, and that makes a world difference, because the deck kind of mm. makes all those 19... 90, 1980, and it's really good. And they do have the T-72, but, I mean, a T-72 is not going to take out a Leopard 2. That's the end of the day. Yeah, I'm just looking at the kill list for uh, some of my Leopard 2s, and uh, wow. <laughs> actually, actually, no, my, Le yeah, my Leopard 2s actually didn't take out that much. It was actually my uh, my Rollins and my old Panzer Grenadiers that really uh, stopped at things. Oh, wow. Uh, we've got a Yag commander there who took out like a whole heap of BMP ones. <laughs> uh, well, um, well, that was fun. Uh, very exciting. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, overall, I think it was an interesting first game. Uh, I'll be honest, I didn't think I was going to have a hope in hell of actually winning that. So uh, I'm mildly surprised, and uh, uh, I'm actually I quite, quite like this deck. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, uh, thank.
thank you very much, uh, everyone, for watching. I believe this video will be going live on both of our channels very shortly. Yep, and uh, Nova Wing, uh, what do you have going on at your channel? Right, well, this is actually my first video back from my uh, my Christmas holidays. Uh, so uh, I've been uh, sort of offline for a bit. Uh, so this is my first video back, and it's great to be back. Uh, there, very shortly, I'll be coming up with a bit more of my uh, my flight stuff. Uh, I've been uh, while I've been on break, I've been dabbling back in the old FSX. So uh, you'll be seeing a couple of reviews coming through of that one very shortly. And looking forward to more games here. And Troublemaker, how about yourself? Uh, apart from fighting the weather, uh, how how are you going? What's happening in your channel today? Um, we me and uh, me and Rangru have been co-casting the three uh, three tournament glorious designs. Lots of fun to be had there. <laughs> Sounds exciting. All right. Well, that wraps up to the first the first episode installment of uh, what what are, what are we calling this again, Trouble Marker? Mod game. Mod game. Okay. So uh, first uh, first episode in mod game. Thank you very much uh, for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's been fun as always. Take care, and we'll see you next time.